This tutorial was made possible by Envato Elements. Today using Apple Motion, I'm gonna show you everything you need to know about creating your own custom transitions for Final Cut Pro. Also, if you are a patron, I have a mega download of 20 plus transitions for you. So make sure you go and get those. First things first, open up Apple Motion. If you don't get the product your browser, you can push Command, Option, and N. From there, we're gonna select the Final Cut Transition, and I'm actually gonna put this at 1.5 seconds. From there, you can select whatever frame rate you like, and Final Cut Pro will automatically adjust accordingly to your project, but I like to set it to the frame rate that I typically work in most, just so I get a good idea of how the transition is panning out. So I'm gonna go ahead and select 23.98. Then from there, I'm going to push open. So the basics of creating a transition in Apple Motion is that you've got transition A, which represents your first clip, then transition B, which represents the second clip. So however you wanna morph transition A over into transition B is totally up to you, so it gives you so much flexibility in how you wanna create these transitions. To create the most basic transition, a fade transition, what I would do is select transition B, go to the beginning and push I so that it extends out transition B for the full length of this clip. Then I would select transition A, go to the very end and push O for out. So now these two transitions are happening over the entire duration. Then selecting transition A, I would jump into the inspector, go to the properties, find the opacity slider click and add a keyframe, go to the very end and set that to zero. So now we've just created a basic fade transition across this entire clip. So that is the very basics of creating a transition. Now again, it's totally up to you how you wanna get from transition A over to transition B. I'm gonna go ahead and reset that opacity parameter. So now we're gonna do something a little bit more fun and actually use some of the effects that are built into Apple Motion. So first, select your group. This is going to act almost kind of like an adjustment layer. Then we're gonna go on up to our filters and you can apply any filter you want onto this group. I'm gonna to go to the stylize and select bad TV. Now we're gonna go ahead and adjust the roll settings back to zero so that the offset is perfectly in the center. Then we can go ahead and set our waviness to zero and our mix number to zero. And we'll click and add a keyframe in both of those categories. We'll move forward about halfway, so around 18 frames or so. And then we'll go ahead and drag the waviness all the way up and the mix all the way up. So we now have this animation of the TV coming in just like so. So then from there, we could go to the very end and set the waviness back down to zero along with the mix slider. Then selecting transition A, we could click, add a keyframe in the opacity in the middle, add a keyframe at the beginning, jump back to the middle and set that to zero. So now it should turn into this bad TV effect where it fades from one clip to the next clip. So again, that is the basics of creating a transition. Let's go ahead and do one more type of creating a transition, and that is using image masks. Image masks are so powerful because you can download from stock websites, different transitions and stuff that you see, such as from our sponsor, Envato Elements. This is where you would probably roll the sponsorship thing. Envato Elements is changing the game with their incredible subscription service. They offer unlimited access to over 55 million assets. I don't know if you realize how large of a number that is. It is ginormous. They offer fonts, photos, stock footage, music, sound effects, WordPress themes, Final Cut Pro, and Motion 5 templates. They offer a super simple license and your license still counts even after your subscription has ended. If you follow the link in the description, you will get 50% off when selecting the annual subscription. Do yourself a favor, my friends, level up your video editing library and get Envato Elements today. So like I was saying, you can use image masks to download stock clips from people like Envato Elements and apply them into your scene to create really dynamic transitions fast. So I've downloaded this pack. I'll try and have a link down in the description. I'll push command I and we're going to go ahead and just use one of these. So I'm going to go ahead and use A3. We'll see how that looks. So we've got our A3 transition. Now it's not quite filling out the frame. That's totally fine. All we need to do is selecting transition A, right click and select add image mask. Then I'm going to go ahead and drag in A3 into the image mask. And you can see it's already starting to do something, but it's not acting as it should. So all we need to do is change the source channel from alpha 
over to Luminance. And this is actually a black and white video. So it's this black and white animation. So we need it to be based off of the Luminance so that the white and dark values are actually what are affecting the scene. I'm gonna go ahead and disable this overlying clip and we should start to see an animation happening here in the center. But the framing is not quite perfect. That's a very easy fix. Let's go ahead and disable the stencil and enable the stretch. So now it's going to stretch out this clip to fit the entire frame. Now one last important factor we need to adjust before sending this over to Final Cut Pro is currently it's actually starting off with transition B being shown and then it's shifting over to transition A. So we definitely need to change that. To adjust it, go ahead, jump into your image mask, go to the left-hand side and find the mask blend mode, change it from add over to subtract, and then you should be good to go. Now, unfortunately, you cannot pass through the sound from Motion to Final Cut Pro. So even though Envato was super kind and they had some great sound effects applied to these transition types, those will not pass through. Super unfortunate, I know, maybe someday, Apple will add in that functionality. That being said, now that we have this great animation happening, all we need to do is push Command S to save it. And we can just call this the paper tear transition or whatever you wanna call it. Then we can jump on over into our categories and set this into whatever category we like. I'll go ahead and throw it in the Final Cut Pro and we'll push publish. So now if we jump over into Final Cut Pro, we can see the paper tear transition pops right up here if you're in the proper category. And I'll go ahead and drag that onto my timeline. And just like that, we have this great transition happening within our scene. And if you wanna extend out the length of this transition, you can easily do that. So you can see how it dynamically adjusts the timing on this transition. That is how you create your own custom transitions using Apple Motion. Again, if you're a patron, I've got a great download for you with tons of transitions that you can use right now. Make sure you check out Envato Elements. They have so many elements for you to use. And with that being said, my name is Dylan Bates, the Final Cut Bro, and I cannot wait to see you in the next one.